Hello. The project we would like to present today is a series of master graduation assignments that took place in the Critical Alarms Lab. Our lab's mission is to inspire the design community with sound-driven technological solutions that are sensitive to human needs, capacity and abilities. Therefore, with the project Care Tunes, Kun Bochers and Chan Chao explored the power of music to eliminate cacophony and introduce harmony in the soundscapes of healing environments. Essentially, we are exploring ways of sonification and its manifestation in the form of music, which can offer richer data representations and pave the road for customization of sonified data. In this talk, Kun and Chan will present two applications for care tunes in prototype stage together with user evaluation studies. Kun will first describe the technical requirements for care tunes and its design specifications for data sonification, and then present care tunes as a tool for musical updates for nurses. In a second application, Chan will offer care tunes as a musical messenger for families to meet their need to connect with their loved ones in the ICU. In the applied context of health healthcare, this talk demonstrates our vision and poses critique on sound design in healthcare by discussing the role of music in ICUs and novel ways of using healthcare data. Let's have a look at the presentations of Kun and Chen. What you are hearing are alarms as you would hear them in the ICU of a hospital. They exist to keep patients safe but instead they cause risks to the patients and to the well-being of the medical staff. Nurses in particular can be confronted with large amounts of alarms during their shifts. Because a large part of them is not actionable, there's a risk of a cry-wolf effect. But not only are there too many alarms, they also sound very unpleasant. Some devices produce high-pitched beeps, which cause anxieties to nurses. Care Choose for Nurses is a concept that aims to solve this problem using musical updates instead of alarms. Three different instruments in a simple composition give the listener information about three vital signs of the patient. Heart rate, oxygen saturation and blood pressure. The timbre of each of these instruments changes as each of their corresponding vital signs goes up or down. Timbre was found to be an aspect of the musical composition in which changes can be easily recognized. Nurses still have the possibility to set boundaries for each of the vital signs. These boundaries would normally cause an alarm when a value surpasses them. In the case of care tunes, when a vital sign surpasses a boundary, the instrument representing that vital sign will sound dissonant. In a user test with this concept, nurses and other test participants were able to recognize changes in the vital signs by listening to the music they heard. They could also tell from what they were listening to whether these values were going up or down. So by using care tunes, nurses and other medical staff can continuously get the information they need without having to listen to stress-inducing sounds. Families of ICU patients often have the social and emotional needs for connecting with their loved ones in the ICU. And care tunes as musical messages for the families builds this connection by communicating emotions and meanings through music that is generated from the patient's data. While numbers, text, and the image of a loved one being unconscious may feel unfamiliar to the families, music may allow them to connect with the patient in a more natural way. The strength of music communication lies in its ability to facilitate the listener to perceive information in a humanized way with their own interpretation and imagination. Music is also powerful in evoking the listener's emotions and the care tunes musical messages calm the families with positive and tender music. The music design of the care tunes musical messages captures the patient's physiological data and translates them into music. 
based on the musical theme melody that can be perceived as the symbol of the patient. Multiple music tracks are added to the composition to create musical variations according to the patient's physical and mental activities. As the music flows, real-time data from the ICU monitoring devices are fed into the care tools system, which controls the musical variations based on data mapping models. The data sources are selected according to their ability to present the patient through the family's interpretation in order to increase the sense of connectedness. For example, families can relate to data sources such as heart rate and brain waves as they find the music more meaningful when it presents the patient's emotions and activities. Here's a small demonstration of the music design. In the music, heart rate and brain waves signify the emotional arousal and state of consciousness of the patient. A rise of level in wakefulness adds a tract of fast occurring notes to the previously calm melody, enhancing the liveliness of the music. The user evaluation results show that the design can indeed make people feel more connected to their loved ones in the ICU as well as enable them to feel calmer and more positive in critical situations. As you have seen, CareTunes challenged the use of sound in ICUs. We explored the role of music in intensive cares and its potential for using patient data in a novel way that is not based on diagnostics, but on the psychological and emotional needs of ICU users. Kuhn studied patient data and found ways to musically represent it. His explorations provided evidence that music has the power to represent changes in patient vitals when used as an update tool for nurses. He replaced non-actionable alarms with music. Chan showed that music can regulate families' anxieties when used as a messaging tool. Our prototypes highlighted possibilities for sonification and did not tackle actual system design. This will be the priority for the next design iteration for care tunes in the near future. Furthermore, we did not study the effect of musical data representation on patients. Live music has shown to be effective in reduction of pain. Patients' own musical data may have a positive impact or effect on regulating heart rate. Following studies will look into physiological effect of music on patients what music could mean to different types of patients, for example, babies, children, and adults, and how individual music preferences can be dealt with. Music as a therapeutic tool will be investigated. In addition, this is an explorative study in sonification, and its cl clinical relevance must be tested in randomized controlled trials. Please reach out to us if you have any questions Thank you for watching.